Hello everyone. In this video we're going to talk about arrays and strings. Uh, what arrays are, are they are a, a series of variable values all placed in sequential places in memory. So they're all in, uh, in sequential order in memory uh, and uh, they are, are a, a, let's say, a set of variables. And uh, strings are actually a, a type of an array that holds characters. And uh, we're going to go through and see the similarities, differences, and how you can uh, manipulate arrays and use them and stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here I have uh, just added some, uh, some code to the uh, same program that I used for the uh, tutorial on, the, uh, on variables. And uh, I just covered the int and the char in that video. Um, I know, I, I always say char, but I think it's actually pronounced car. Um, and, and I didn't cover the, uh, the floating point variables. And really, it's, uh, it's not going to take that long. So I want to uh, touch on those first. Uh, floating point variables. Uh, are, are are basically they are uh, variable types that have a, a fraction or any real number. Uh, so if you have a decimal place uh, in the number, uh, you'll want to use a floating point type variable. And there's two common ones we're going to use a lot. Uh, there's the float and the double, and uh, they are uh, they should just be different sizes. You know that you can get. Uh, uh, better uh, double precision uh, with the double single precision with the float um, but uh, when uh, we run this program you'll see that uh, the values the minimum and maximum values that are contained within the float.h library will be uh, printed to the screen so you can get an idea for uh, minimum max value for the those type variable types but really we're going here we're going to cover uh, arrays and uh, down here uh, I have created four arrays and all of these arrays uh, are going to be exactly the same value in memory and uh, like a, like many things in programming there's usually more than one way to complete a task and uh, but and I'm going to I'm creating the very same value in memory in four different ways here. Uh, remember I said at the beginning that an array is a, is a series of values in memory that are all held sequentially. Uh, so uh, in this first case here, uh, it's the array, the type, the variable type that's going to be held in memory is, is a char, and, uh, and you declare it. Uh, like this, uh, give it a name, and the name uh, has the same rules as variable types. Uh, and then you put these uh, square brackets here. Uh, now, uh, if you don't assign a value to it uh, when you declare it, you need to place a number in here which represents the number of spaces in memory that it needs to reserve. Uh, since I'm, I'm assigning a value to it, immediately uh, when I'm at the time of declaration I don't need to place a number in there the uh, the compiler will figure that out for me uh, so in this line uh, I'm just making this array equal to the, this this uh, string of characters and uh, in if you've used other programming languages uh, you are probably familiar with strings uh, but under the under the hood a string is just an array of characters. Um, so in this case, we have six le uh, characters that are going to be stored in memory. And uh, there will uh, one other thing to note here is there'll be there will actually be six places uh, in in memory. If we were to declare this first and then assign a value later, we actually place a seven in here because there there is a null character that's at the end, but the compiler takes care of that for us when we do it this way. Um, okay, so uh, th uh, down here on the next line, it does the exact same thing, and we just use the, the uh, curly brackets uh, 
to uh, hold all the values that go into the array and each value is separated by a comma okay and in, in this case we are assigning an individual character to each space uh, in the array each index in the array okay so uh, there again there will be six characters stored in the array now down here um, every character that you see on the screen here has what's called an ASCII value um, and uh, you can look these values up easily just put ASCII into Google and you'll get all kinds of uh, places where you can go get a table that will tell you what number value is associated with each character uh, each character on your keyboard actually um, and in this case I've, I've already done that so an S corresponds to one is has a decimal value of 115 T has a decimal value 116 R 114 so on and so on um, and so this is really the uh, well if you want to get technical the value stored in memory is in binary but the numerical value that is stored in memory is 115 in every each each case in uh, here um, so there I'm using the decimal values again curly brackets surrounds the entire set of, of, of uh, values and then commas in between each value that's in the array okay uh, on this fourth line here and uh, I'm using what's called hexadecimal and we might get into the hexadecimal later um, if you don't know what hexadecimal is and you would like me to make a tutorial leave a comment I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and do that but I'm going to assume that you you maybe know what hexadecimal is if not um, this is how you do uh, d declare it in uh, most of the environments I've worked in you precede the number with a zero that's not an O that's a zero and then an X and then the next uh, the following digits are the hexadecimal value and in this case each one of these digits represents uh, uh, four bits in memory okay so it's a value from uh, actually it's a, a decimal value from 1 to 16 with uh, a through F representing the the 10 through 15 digits uh, I'm sorry I, I correct myself it's a uh, each digit represents a value from 0 to 15 with the uh, decimal values of 10 to 15 represented for, by a through F and so in e, uh, over here for example e e represents a 14 so it's four it's 14 in that space anyways uh, that's about all I'm going to do in hexadecimal but in uh, the point is that in each case here this is exactly the same value in memory and I'm going to demonstrate that down here uh, we, uh, in, if you watch my other tutorials I, I, I've used this printf function quite a bit and you should be getting the hang of it by now uh, but in this case I'm going to print each one of these arrays to the screen uh, as a string so this percent s means it's it's going to treat this value as a string and it's going to print that value to the screen you'll see that You'll, we will get the word string on every on each one of these lines even though I've assigned numbers hexadecimal here decimal here and characters here when it prints to the screen it'll look exactly the same uh, down here um, I'm I'm printing I'm taking this uh, array remember I assigned a string to it uh, so it ha I actually put the word string into that array but I'm breaking it down by uh, each uh, in indexed uh, value in that string and this is how you access individual values within the string uh, here uh, I'm using a percent D which gives me a decimal value and so it's going to print a number to the screen and I it, to access an individual value in the, the array uh, you use the name and then in the square braces you put the index va uh, the index of, of that space in the array so remember we, we start counting at zero and remember up here I said this is going to hold six values and, and plus a null and so the S is going to be in the zero 
space in the uh, in the array. So uh, an array in, and zero in the, in the square braces, this should uh, represent this first value. And so we should see 115 in this spot. I add a comma, and you notice I don't put the uh, the slash n here. So these should all, all print uh, all on the same line here. And so, and so on and so on. So this is the second value, the third value, fourth value, fifth value, sixth value. So we should get six numbers on the screen. And even though it's coming from this, this array here that I assigned the word to it, uh, we should get on the screen this series of numbers. Okay? Uh, and so that's going to demonstrate how you access individual values and that the, these, this, uh, uh, the string actually represents uh, was represented by numerical values in, in memory. Okay, down here uh, I kind of do the opposite. Uh, I'm using the an array four, which has the hexadecimal values, or I, I I loaded the hexadecimal values into that array, and I'm accessing them the same way. And down here, though, see I'm using a percent %c, and so print, the printf function is going to treat each one of these values as a character. And you'll see how each one of these hexadecimal values then translates to this, str this string of characters. And so uh, what prints out here should look very similar to this line right here. So let's go ahead and, and uh, compile it and run it, and uh, I'll show you what we get. I've already done this a couple times to make sure it works. Let's run it. There we go. Okay, so uh, where am I at? Oh, okay. So uh, skipping back a little bit, uh, here we have uh, the min and max values of a float and a double. And you can see how it, it prints it. This is printing as an exponent. How you read this is it's 1.75494. And this e minus 38 means uh, times 10 raised to the power of minus 38. So what that means is you would move this decimal place to the left 38 times. And that's the minimum value. And on down here, where it says E plus 38, same thing. You take that decimal place, move it to the right 38 times, and that's the, that's the maximum value. And uh, you can see how a double is uh, quite a bit bigger. <laughs> 308 decimal places uh, in either direction there. So those are, those are the difference between your float and a double. Okay, but we are going to talk about these arrays here. And you see just as I said it would. Okay. Uh, okay, just as I said it would, uh, each one of these values printed exactly the same on the screen. So, so even though I loaded it, loaded those values into that array in four different ways, they are exactly the same when you print them to the screen. And then you see that when we, we printed an array one uh, to the screen using decimal values, uh, it prints out the series of these decimal values here. You see those match up. And then again, when we print uh, array four uh, using the, uh, as characters, we get the, the sequence of characters printed to the screen. Um, so that demonstrates how, uh, even though we're, we're, first of all, that demonstrates how uh, arrays work. Uh, they are a series of variables stored in memory. Uh, they have an index value. The index starts at zero, and we can access individual values. And also, uh, characters and strings are really uh, represented as numerical values, and when you really get down to it, it's represented as binary. But uh, it's all the same here. So uh, that's a lot, and uh, be sure to uh, check back soon, and we'll talk again soon. If you like this video, please click like. It motivates me to make other videos just like it. If you want to find out when I post more videos, please subscribe. You can also read about 
uh, completed projects on our website spastic.net or spastic.com. On our website we include details of how we did some of the projects that are on these videos and some of the source code that uh, you can use uh, yourself as much as you like. If you want to track progress of projects we have going on step by step, be sure to check out our pages on Twitter and on Facebook.